Sir. Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to the series of lessons on applied petroleum engineering. We are in the middle of reservoir engineering chapters. Uh, in the last lesson or, or chapter or session or video, <laughs> we talked about how to average porosities. We talked about heterogeneity as a topic. We talked about a lot of things on where each averaging method would fit. Now, this video will be a pretty simple one, but it will again convey the same information uh, for saturation averaging. And typically in the oil industry, uh, uh, I hope you can see my screen, Jayesh, can you confirm? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your screen is visible. All right. yeah. Okay. So typically in the oil industry, uh, there is a common methodology that they use for saturation averaging. Uh, of course, you can use all the other methods mentioned previously for porosity averaging as well. But uh, there is a common uh, way to calculate saturation averaging. And I will just describe why this is the common way that they guys, these guys use. So I'll just put the formula first in, in front of you guys. And then we will talk about why this and what this formula is trying to tell you. So saturation, let's, let's just focus on a single phase here. Saturation of oil average of the entire reservoir is given by summation of phi i, h i, s o i upon summation of phi i, h i. Now let's try to understand and trust me guys, I'm also trying to brainstorm uh, real time here. Okay, let's, let's try to think about why this would have come in, in picture and why not just a simple uh, what do you call it? No. Uh, arithmetic. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Let's use a different color too. Let's brainstorm why this is happening. Okay, so basically, if you imagine a reservoir like this, and you have one one compartment like this, other is so huge, and the third one. So one, two, and three. Uh, one thing I want to add here, uh, yeah. for example, in porosity one, we talked about height averaged, volume averaged. In this, we yep. can say uh, these terms, these terms, we can say that these are pore volume weighted average of saturation. If you can nice. see phi yep. i h i. Yeah, that's brilliant. Brilliant. Thanks, Jesh. So pore volume weighted. Average saturations. Average. Right. So let's, let's brainstorm, right? So one approach that if someone tells me that, no, sir, I just want to go ahead with average, you know, I know the saturation at, at this point, uh, I know the saturation in first compartment. I know it for this one. I know it for this one. I just add them three and then take an average. I am not saying that is a terrible way to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm good with you, uh, but there will be significant amount of error i'm afraid in doing that yeah. because yeah, you are I, using this the one example can be taken as for example we are calculating initial oil in place right and yeah. we can see the area number two is quite large yeah. here uh, if uh, quite large and mainly its uh, saturation is going to affect our initial oil in place saturation and let us consider that the saturation that present in area number two is around 0 0.8. Let us take a rough number. Okay, 0 0.8. And yeah. one and third, it is around 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. So when we are going to take the uh, arithmetic average without considering the uh, volume or uh, pore volume, in that scenario, if we take the arithmetic average, it will come around 1.1 uh, divided by around 0 0.35 yep around 0 0.35 right now if we take uh, the volume average is also for example let us consider it, uh, the number two uh, area was about 80 percent and the other ones were about uh, 10 10 percent so the saturation will come uh, uh, about 0 0.65 to 0 0.7 so you can see the difference that can be created in uh, initial oil in place calculation if we just take the arithmetic average here from yeah exactly 3.65 3. 
Yep. So I get your point, Jay. So what you are trying to say is, uh, and which is very valid, is uh, basically you are losing out on on some information. You are miscalculating and misinforming the actual saturation of the entire reservoir. Uh, it could have been a larger number, which is zero point six five, but you are eventually based on your lack of knowledge. You are trying to conclude it's just point three five saturation. That's the problem with uh, uh, using just arithmetic averages. Right. And this yes, uh, the, this is going to volumes, affect a lot of economic uh, decision taken. Economics. Yep, 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 yep. And of course, ideally, if the three volumes were exactly equal to each other, then an uh, arithmetic averaging again the the derivation would lead to an arithmetic average. But the the idea is again the same thing. Uh, so if your pore volume is very small, it's like a a small uh, tennis ball, right? Of one compartment. it's a tennis ball then your saturation even if it is a, so huge uh, let's say its saturation is uh, 80 89 or 90% hmm. right and the other two uh, other two areas let's say they are the largest ones right and they 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 comprise of the they they constitute the majority of the volume of the entire reservoir but their saturation is just 0.5 0.05 and 0.05% hmm. So in that case, you are overestimating if you just use the arithmetic average, arithmetic because ninety percent plus point five plus point five divided by three point zero five three three plus point zero. Yeah, so that's a huge number compared in, to zero point zero five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But zero point zero five should dominate in this case. So mm-hmm. that's why we are trying to tell you in short the conclusion of this uh, TED talk is that pore volume. are very important in this case right you need to look at which pore volume you are calculating saturation from so basically this formula what is trying to tell you is saturation average is nothing but saturation of one pore volume of one plus saturation of two pore volume of two plus so on upon saturate uh, summation of pore volumes okay let's go to another another slide to further der- derive this right so what i'm trying to say here is saturation average what i'm trying to say here is so1 into pore volume of 1 and pore volume is what the formula for pore volume is area into height into porosity all right so a h 5 a1 h1 5 1 plus so let's let's simplify this for just two compartments here so2 multiplied by a2 h2 phi2 divided by summation of ai hi which is just a1 h1 plus a2 h2 uh, and multi and phi i right and that's it this is the formula and if either of uh, these are equal so suppose areas are equal then they get cancelled out if heights are equal they get cancelled out and so on and so forth right Yeah, so that's generally uh, that's what happens about... is generally we take uh, the area of reservoir as constant. That's why area cancels out. Yeah, and yeah, we... sometimes uh, a is tend to be constant because that's like the cross cross section area. Cross section, but that that depends on the use case you are looking use at. Case, yeah. We are not trying to idealize. It's already so ideal. No further idealization. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Uh, I think that's it uh, for this lecture. Thanks, guys. Uh, Thank we will you. see you again in the next lecture where we will talk about the different kind of uh, cubic or you know packing structures uh, in 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 subsurface for the porous media, porous media, and we will derive the porosity values for them. See you in the next lecture. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank man. you, guys. Bye bye. Have a good one.